What is up guys, Gamer That Sucks here and today I'm gonna show you on how to get the climbing gear. Now, in order for you to get the climbing gear, you need to go to three different shrines and we're currently at the first shrine in order to get the headpiece and it's in the Ridahi Shrine. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly and as you can see here in the map, this is where it's located. When you go into the shrine, you're gonna have to do some puzzles here. So let's just make our way into the shrine but first i'm still just showing you the map here just so you know exactly where it is so once you get to the shrine just make your way into the shrine and we're gonna have to start the puzzle now the puzzle isn't that hard all you have to do is just get the ball from one point to the other and you just have to press a button the first one is really easy just press the button and the ball will roll down into the hole and then a platform will come towards you in which you need to get on to get to the other side now for this second puzzle all you need to do is just press on the button when you see that the ball is halfway through just let go of the button and then the ball will roll down to the next uh, platform and then it will roll down to its spot that it needs to go to platform is going to come up to you just get on it once you're on the other side here this one's a little bit tricky i kind of messed up the first time but what you need to do here is you need to press on the button when you see that it's quarter way to the end get out of it so the ball is uh, thrown into the location that it needs to go to here now once you've done that the platform will start moving and you need to get your magnet rune ready because you're going to use the magnet rune to get these barrels once you get the barrel make your way back to the button here the reason why you want to do that is because you're going to put the barrel on top of the button in order to get the chest because the headpiece is going to be in a chest now i already got the chest so i'm just going to show you where the chest is located which is located up here in the platform and once you get that you'll get the first piece which is which is the bandana now once you get the piece you can just complete the shrine. If you go down to the bottom, there's going to be a ladder there in which you can climb up and speak to the shrine person that's going to be in it. I didn't do that. You don't really have to complete it if you don't want to, but if you want, you can definitely complete it. I completed it before. That's why I didn't do it in the video. So that's why I didn't show you. Now, the next location here is on a cliff side and we need to go to an island and that's the where the island is located and for that shrine we there's no puzzle to it you just need to kill a guardian that's guarding the shrine and the easiest way to get there if you want is by going to the tech lab that i showed you and just making your way around to this cliff side here on the cliff side there's going to be a shrine on it in which you can get on you can activate in order for you to teleport a lot easier once you've activated it just jump off the cliff and just keep making your way towards the island here. That's the easiest way to get to that specific shrine because if you try swimming, it, it doesn't work. You can potentially just drown and it's a waste of time. Fastest way is just jumping off that cliff and gliding towards it. So once you get in it, you're gonna see a cutscene here where the guardian comes out. All you need to do is just kill the guardian. The, car the guardian has three weapons. It's not that hard to beat the boss. I mean, well, not the boss, the mini boss here. And yeah, once you beat the um, bot, the guardian, I keep calling it a boss, but once you beat the guardian here, just make your way towards the doorway. You'll see that the chest is right there and you're gonna get the chest piece for the climbing gear. Once you get the chest piece, just complete the shrine as there's no other sort of chest in this shrine. So yeah, you'll get your holy symbol here. And then we'll move on to the last shrine that you need to get to. Okay, for, so for some reason I called it a holy symbol. It's not a called it's not called a holy symbol, it's called a spirit orb. Sorry about that, but yeah. Once you get the spirit orb from this shrine, we'll be able to move to the other um location here. And what you need to do here is you need to teleport back to the tech lab in which you got your camera rune from. It's part of the main quest. So you should already have this travel point if you've done the quest. 
So as you can see here, we're going to go to the Hitino Ancient Tech Lab here. And like I said, this should be part of the main quest storyline if you've been doing it. And you'll be able to travel there really easily. So once you get to the tech lab here, we're going to make ourselves, we're going to make our way to a snowy area. Now the snowy area is going to be really cold. So just make sure you either have cold resistance clothing or cold resistant food because it would be really helpful. That way you don't die. I didn't have any of those two things. So I just tanked the damage that you get for it being cold. And then on the map, as you saw there, that's the location that we need to go to for the last shrine. If you just follow the path that I'm currently going to, you can get to the shrine really easily. Or you can just go to the map point that I showed you right there. So here, like I said, I didn't have anything warm that could resist the cold. So I just tanked through the damage. The damage wasn't that much. And I also had the elephant divine beast power up in which if you die you get the hearts back so i wasn't scared of dying here so once you get to the shrine here there's going to be some rocks that are going to be blocking the pathway and as you can see here if you want an easier view once you get to those bush bushes that you've made it to the to the shrine there because that's the map location that you need to go to so once you get there you're going to see that there's some rocks blocking the way to get to the shrine so just use your bomb room and get into the shrine now for this shrine there's only one chest and that is the leg piece for the climbing gear there's no other chest in this specific shrine which was really weird I went around it to see if there was any. I used my magnetic rune to see if any sort of chest was in the water or anything like that, but I wasn't able to find any. So it's safe to assume that that was the only chest. If you do find a chest, just leave it down in the comments so I can pin it and everybody else can know as well. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's how you get the climbing gear. If you do have any sort of outfits that you want me to find, I can definitely do that. Just leave it down in the comments and uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video so yep that's pretty much it and see you guys next time